Now y'all know if you've ever listened to me on the radio, you know that this is a very, very important question for me. Where are my pet lovers? Yes. I love animals better than I love anything in this world, whether it walks or crawls or flies or swims or slithers, I don't care. I love everything and I rescue everything. If it walks past my house and looks hungry, it's coming in getting a sweater and something to eat. That is the rule, okay? And right now, I have this house full of brain damaged pug dogs, okay? Every one of them have something wrong with them. They have to have round the clock care and medicines all the time. I have to hire somebody to come and take care of them when I'm gone. It's a special needs school for pugs, is what it is. I need one more pug dog with thick glasses and a speech impediment. I'm getting that government check. I am. That is my goal. And people always assume, you know, that, you know, my dog is going to be well behaved because I spend so much time with them and everything. <laughs> no, 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 no. I go to the doggy park. You know, when you go to the doggy park, everybody's had their dog to the groomer. They got that little ribbon in their hair, designer sweater on, brand new toy in their mouth, having a good time getting along with everybody. Not my little bastards, hell no. They are running around, smelling like whatever pile of shit they've just rolled in, wearing a hand-me-down sweater from the one before them, old tore up toys, stealing the new toys from the other dogs and humping everything that will move. I'm over here leaned up against my motorcycle smoking a cigarette going, Mikey, stop pissing on your sister. <laughs> and I'm so sick of you people telling me, well, you don't have real kids. You don't know what problems really are. Screw you. If you got kids, you tell me that this does not sound familiar. This is my day, every day of my life. Hey, y'all get your asses in this house right now. It is time for breakfast. I'm going to be late for work. Mary Agnes, get your ass out of that mud hole and get in here. If I have to come out there and get you, I'm going to whip your ass like it's never been whipped before. Mikey, stop biting her in the face. You're going to put her eye out. We ain't got no medical insurance. Ain't nobody going to the doctor today. Hazel, get down off that couch and quit eating them couch cushions unless you plan on getting a job and buying me some new ones. Who just shit in the floor? Do y'all think I work 60 hours a week to come home and clean up this shit? I don't think so. Mom, spit that. What is that? Oh my God, that is a cat turd. Where'd you get that from? And please quit eating everything that crosses your face. The vet says you're going to be as big as a damn house and have diabetes. Rosie, stop doing that. I'm not telling you again. Stop humping your sister. You're not a boy dog. If your mamma sees you doing that, she's going to have a damn stroke and then she's going to send you to the pray away the gay camp and that shit don't work. Trust me. I brought every one of you little bastards home from the pound. I will take you back. <laughs> am I right or am I wrong? <laughs> the only difference between my kids and yours is mine don't ride the damn school bus. That's it. 